Hey there, CG Tinker here. Today I will show you some new features for Blender Track, which shall improve the workflow by quite a bit. If you now import, by example, a camera tracking with a point cloud, you will see that the point cloud is now importing as mesh vertices. The advantage with mesh vertices is that you can play around with the data in geometry nodes if you like. And also, now you can easily move around the camera without any constraints. Of course, this will screw up the um, tracking. So if you just rotate it, of course, everything is rotated. But, well, if you just want to play around with the camera motion in your scene and don't want the camera movie to be active, this is a great thing. And that's basically all about uh, camera motion tracking. So let's head over to the new face tracking features. With the face mesh, everything stayed the same. So if you import a face mesh, well, you are getting a face mesh, <laughs> which is animated. So now let's get to the face rig empties. If we import face rig empties now, you will see that this data is split it now. You have the face motion here on this empty and this um, animated empty face is parented to another empty. This is because you can more easily move it around and align it to a, another face. So let's get it aligned just really quickly. Once it's more or less properly aligned, so the proportions are fitting, it's important to select the frame where is basically no motion or where the idle looks kind of the same. So something like that for this face. All right, and then we are just going to the face rigging tab, selecting, for example, Android or iOS and then press generate face rig. And now at this point, just generate the driver rig and make sure the base face rig is selected. Now the driver rig has been generated. Let's move the base face rig aside and to make it a little bit more visible, I'm changing the viewport display to textured. And we see now we have our animation on the driver rig. Now we can also clean up the animation by just changing up the influences and choose update influence. Let's also smooth the animation data so we can select the head controller and here are all the animated face empties. And we can just select, select hierarchy and then press Smooth Selected Empties. This will take a while, but it will smooth the animation of the selected empties, which is basically also possible when you navigate to the um, graph editor. Now it's, well, smoother. <laughs> and now let's select the rig again and just press Bake to Action. Once it's baked, you see in the timeline are a lot of keyframes and also the motion won't look the same because there is still animation data going on. Because if you go in post mode, you see here this bone as a child of constraint and a child of constraint, it, the data gets baked, but it will still be visible on the driver rig. So now let's get to the transfer. It's still the same. You have to navigate to the DOP sheet, open the action editor, and then select the action you have just created. I think it's called action. Just select the driver rig if you aren't sure. And now we can go to the character and check how the transfer has been working. And on the first glance, this is looking pretty good. And of course, you can here, by example, see 
that the chin moves in a little bit too much on my watch. So let's select the driver rig, go in pose mode, move it a little bit down in this case, maybe also reduce the influence a little bit, update the driver influences, back to action again. And this is how you can, well, easily iterate and change up the animation. Now let's replay this again. Here nothing should be happening because we probably still have to select the action. So let's go to the DOP sheet again, action editor. Here it's action. Here it's action 001. So let's select this action. Yeah, and I think it's good now. And also, if we like, we can also easily now use the head rotation. Just go in pose mode and check out which bone it is to rotate the head of the rigify rig. And then just add a constraint, a copy rotation constraint, and select the head motion empty. This is harder than I thought. Here, face motion. And, oh uh, well, <laughs> this doesn't look like as is expected. Um, but we can just set this to add. And now we also have the head motion. And we can see the result like that. And if we want to clean up the animation on the rig, when we are, well, done with everything, let's call it like that, you can just navigate to um, the dope sheet, then select the action editor and choose push down. Let's rename it at first and call it facial animation. And now it's pushed down and this means it's now in the nonlinear animation editor, which you will find here. And you see all the empty actions. But here's our NLA track. And the benefit of this NLA track is you can do a lot of fun stuff with it. But you also can set new keyframes easily and change up the animation a lot, if you like. And this allows for future cleanup. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you have learned something. Thanks a lot to all of my patrons. Have a great day and see you around.